Leveling up is one of Pokemon Go's most satisfying moments. And with 50 total levels requiring nearly 200 million XP, achieving it is not an easy feat and requires a decent amount of strategy. So today I'll be giving some of the best tips for each and every level in Pokemon Go. This guide should have a little something for everyone. And if you're below level 41, the strategy is relatively easy. Just gain XP. The only requirement to get from level one to level 40 is XP, specifically 20 million XP, which may seem daunting, but it's really easy. And in order to get that easily, let me go over some of the best strategies to gain XP quickly in Pokemon Go, because this will help from level one all the way to level 50. Starting with friendship, which is actually one of the main strategies of the world's number one player. Adding people as friends is one of the best ways to get XP. Correct, so if you look at the best friend medal, the idol medal, which is the handshake medal over here. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Dude, that's like millions and millions of XP. That's Correct. insane. So it's close to a billion. Each time <laughs> you actually get each time you actually get a best friend up uh, each time you get to a best friend, right. the total amount of XP you get is roughly around 360,000. We've lucky it starting on, from on zero. Every one of them, right? Correct. Yeah, right. So if you do the mathematics with this, it's almost a billion. It's almost <laughs> oh 900 million. Alright. Obviously, lucky eggs, which double your XP intake for 30 minutes, are super helpful. So if you're willing to spend buying those and then completing legendary raid battles is one of the next best ways to gain XP. A legendary raid gives you 10,000 XP, and then obviously with the Lucky Egg, that's 20,000 XP per raid, which really adds up fast. Next is a much more free way of leveling up, and one that is one of the most efficient easily. Events. There are always events that give extra XP in Pokemon Go. Each month, there's a two times catch XP and two times evolution XP spotlight hour. And oftentimes, community day events will feature extra XP bonuses. Like 2022's December community day, which features two times catch XP. Since events happen so frequently, staying up to date on them is really important. Which is why subscribing to this channel is a great idea because every time there's a new event, I report on it first, live, quickly, and efficiently. Subscribe, please, subscribe. It's also in your best interest to learn how to hit excellent throws in Pokemon Go, they give you like a thousand extra XP per catch, which is insane and adds up like crazy, especially if there's a two, three, sometimes even a four times XP event. Add that with a lucky egg and you could be getting anywhere between like five to 10,000 XP per catch, which is absurd. And to get better at excellence really is just playing the game and focusing on throwing and trying to hit excellence. It comes with time. Now, once you achieve your 20 million lifetime XP and get your way to level 40, what happens next? Level 41. Here are the tasks and tips for reaching level 41 in Pokemon Go. Power up a legendary Pokemon 20 times. The easiest way to do this if you're not like balling on legendary candies is by powering up low leveled legendaries on your account instead of just powering up one legendary. So instead of powering up one 20 times, you can power up 10 different ones two times. Saves the candy, saves the Stardust. Win 30 raids. Now you can either bang out remote raids with money or you can use your daily free raid pass plus grind the gym system to get your 50 Pokecoins free per day and then use those to buy raid passes and then just bang out raids that way. Catch 200 Pokemon in a single day. This is easiest to do on an event like Community Day or Spotlight Hour where there's boosted spawns. Earn five gold medals. By the time you get here, you should easily already have this done. <laughs> Level 42. These are the tasks and tips to reach level 42. Evolve Eevee into each of its Eevee evolutions. If you haven't already used them, each Eevee evolution has a name trick that you can use to specifically evolve to it. Meaning you can name an Eevee a specific name and evolve to a specific Eevee evolution. So if you haven't used your name tricks, save them for this level and use them here. It'll save you a lot of time. And the name tricks are Pyro for Flareon, Sparky for Jolteon, Rainer for Vaporeon, Sakura for Espeon, Tamau for Umbreon, Linnea for Glaceon, Rhea for Leafeon, and Kira for Sylveon. And if you've already used the tricks to get Sylveon, you have to earn 70 hearts with an Eevee and then evolve it as your buddy. Espeon requires you to walk 10 kilometers with an Eevee and then evolve it during the daytime, while Umbreon requires 10 kilometers walked and evolved during nighttime. For Glaceon, you have to evolve an Eevee while in range of a Glacial Lure, Leafeon in range of a Mossy Lure, and then Jolteon, Flareon, and Vaporeon are just kind of random as you evolve Eevees. Use items to evolve Pokemon 15 times. You can get evolution items by doing things like spinning Pokestops, battling team leaders, the PvP rewards, your seven day research breakthrough box. They're kind of rare, but you'll get them as you play. Make three excellent throws. Legendary Pokemon or Pokemon with a very large hit circle like Whalmer will be your best friend for the excellent throws. Use 200 berries to catch Pokemon. Berries you get from spinning stops and gyms, opening gifts, and completing raids. 
piece and then just stack them up and catch everything you see with them. Level 43. For level 43, you have to earn 100,000 Stardust. This may seem daunting, but it's actually super easy. The best way to gain Stardust is in the Go Battle League, especially when there's free GBL timed research like there is now. It's best to just drop a star piece and then grind out your daily battles. Or wait till there's a boosted Stardust event like Community Day, and drop a star piece and catch a bunch of Pokemon then. Use 200 super effective charge attacks. The best way to do this is by teaming up with a friend in real life who's on another team than you and basically continuously battling their Pokemon down in gyms. They put their Pokemon in the gym, you battle it, take it down. They put, you put yours, they battle it, take yours down, rinse and repeat. Catch five legendary Pokemon. The best way to catch legendary Pokemon is when you're in the encounter screen with them, you hold down the Premier Ball until the circle shrinks into excellent range, let go of the Premier Ball, wait for the legendary to dodge, throw the ball at the end of the dodge so that by the time the dodge finishes, your Premier Ball is hitting the legendary Pokemon in that excellent circle and that's the easy way to catch legendaries. Earn five platinum medals. You theoretically should already have this completed by the time you get here and the medals at the bottom of your account, basically for catching a certain amount of specific Pokemon from each specific typing, those count towards your platinum medals for this progression. But five very easy platinum medals to complete include the Kanto Badge, Johto Badge, Berry Master, Picnic, and Collector. Level 44. Get ready to battle this level. Here's what's required. Win 30 trainer battles in the Great League, 30 trainer battles in the Ultra League, and 30 trainer battles in the Masters League. These 90 battles will be the easiest 90 battles of your life, because there's a cheat code to them. Just basically battle up against one of your friends on your friends list and have them use 10 CP Pokemon in each of these leagues and just demolish them. Won't take you long at all. Win 20 battles in the Go Battle League. If you're not a Go Battle League person, it's usually best to just wait a couple days until after the Go Battle League season starts so that you're rank one and going up against a bunch of noobs. And then you can just blast through noobs until you get 20 wins. Level 45. This is where things get kind of annoying because you need to defeat 100 Team Go Rocket Grunts. You kind of just have to grind this one out. Just make it a point to battle every Grunt that you see. Purify 100 Shadow Pokemon. Once you battle a Grunt and defeat it, just purify the Pokemon before you transfer it out. Defeat Team Go Rocket League 50 times. This one can get super expensive, so I would recommend not rushing it. Every six grunts you defeat, you get one rocket radar. Use that rocket radar to defeat a team leader before going back to the grunt grind so that you're maximizing your rocket radars. Earn 10 platinum medals. This also is a little bit difficult depending on how much you've played. The best strat really is just to look at the gold medals that you have that are close to platinum, focusing on a couple and really grinding those ones out. A couple easier ones include scientist, backpacker, idol, Cameraman, especially during snapshot encounter events, and the pilot badge, which is easy if you trade Pokemon hatched from seven kilometer eggs or raided from around the world. Level 46. For this next level, you'll be required to complete 100 field research tasks, which is absolutely easiest to do during community day because the tasks are usually super duper easy and all tailored around the Pokemon that's spawning. Take a snapshot of a Pokemon seven days in a row, set daily reminders for a week, and thank me later. Make 50 excellent throws. Again, legendary Pokemon and Pokemon with huge hit circles like Wilmer will be your best friend. Hatch 30 eggs. If you don't want to break the bank, focus mainly on two kilometer eggs, especially during events that feature half hatch distance. Level 47. Now we start getting to some of the more difficult tasks, including win 30 raids using a team of all unique Pokemon species. Basically just create a custom team and blast down some easy tier one and tier three raids. Win a three star raid using only Pokemon with 1500 CP or less. Join a raid with your friends and have them carry you through this. Power up three Pokemon to their max CP. Lucky Pokemon are typically the best here because they're the cheapest, but you will need a lot of XL candies to do this. The easiest Pokemon to get XL candies for is actually Meltan. Just link your Pokemon Home account to your Pokemon Go account and trade a Pokemon from Pokemon Go to Pokemon Home. You will then be able to open your mystery box, which gives you Meltan encounters. And every time you catch a Meltan, you're guaranteed at least one XL candy. Even more XLs if you have a high leveled steel type Mega Evolved while you're catching. Earn 20 Platinum Medals. Same deal as the other Platinum Challenges. Pick a couple to focus on and grind them out, you'll get them eventually. Level 48. Now it starts getting interesting because you're almost there. For level 48, you must receive 20 souvenirs from your buddy. Once you get a Pokemon's buddy level to Ultra, it will start bringing you souvenirs. So it's best to just get a ton of buddies to at least Ultra and then swap through them throughout the day to maximize your souvenir game. Earn 300 hearts with your buddy. Poffins will be your best friend here and you can get them for free by doing AR mapping tasks. I think that's still a thing. But just swapping between 20 different buddies per day and maxing out your buddy hearts with them is just gonna be the best strat. Oh, and quick tip specifically for the battle hearts, which are a kind of a large part of your daily hearts. All you have to do to get them is battle one of the team leaders at the bottom of the battle section, like one of the 
you know, the team, team leaders. Just make sure the buddy you're trying to get hearts for is in your battle party, start the battle, and then immediately end it. And that will count as a battle towards your daily hearts. Walk 200 kilometers with your buddy. You're gonna wanna enable Adventure Sync in your game so that your phone can track the maximum amount of kilometers as possible towards this challenge. Walk 25 kilometers in a week, eight times. Okay, this one took me a long time to do. Again, the best strategy here is turning on Adventure Sync, going for daily walks, and the sock method. To do the sock method, turn Adventure Sync on, close the app, and shake the phone in your hand like a shake weight. Just do this for like 20 minutes. The game will register that movement as walking and count as kilometers towards your progress. Level 49. This may be one of the final challenges to level 50, but it's really not the hardest. You have to make 10 trades with Pokemon caught at least 300 kilometers apart. Trading with Pokemon hatched from seven kilometer eggs around the world or caught from raids around the world are the easiest. Obtain 50 lucky Pokemon in trades. You can trade up to 100 Pokemon per day. So finding a trade buddy and just grinding out maximum amount of trades per day is gonna be the best way here because lucky Pokemon are more just based off of RNG. Send 500 gifts to friends. You can hold 20 gifts at a time and send 100 gifts per day, which does fluctuate a little bit with certain events and seasons, but usually it's around there. So it will take a couple of days, but you can just add people to your friends list using my Discord, the link down in the description below, and then just spamming the homies with gifts. You get a gift and you get a gift, you know? Really Oprah Winfrey that thing. Earn 35 platinum medals. Okay, this is probably one of the more difficult tasks and the one that took me quite some time, but same strategies apply. Find medals that you're close to the platinum on and then just grind them out. And then again, another reminder that the badges at the very bottom of your profile that track how many Pokemon of each typing you've caught, those count towards your 35 Platinums. So if there's a certain Pokemon that you don't have a gold for, hunt that certain Pokemon's typing because that's one of the easier ways to get there. Level 50. And you've made it! Time to beat Pokemon Go and reach level 50. Along with getting 176 million lifetime XP, you'll need to make 999 excellent throws. Just aim when you throw and try extra hard on Pokemon with large hit circles. Also collecting and using Nana Berries is really helpful during this one. Get those Savage Seasons, my friends. Catch a legendary Pokemon in your next five legendary encounters. Use the legendary catch method I explained earlier in the video and definitely use Golden Raspberries if you have them. Defeat a Team Go Rocket Leader three times using only Pokemon with 2,500 CP or less. It's best to obviously use Pokemon that are super effective against the team leader's Pokemon. So brushing up on what the team leader has is really helpful with this. You can basically just join the battle, battle through with normal CP Pokemon, lose the battle on purpose, and then go back in with the right typings. Then it's good to use Pokemon with really spammy charge moves because every time you swap a Pokemon or use a charge move, there's like a two to three second delay where the Team Go Rocket leader's Pokemon won't attack you. So you can basically chunk down their Pokemon a lot and not take that much damage if you're using super high spam Pokemon. Reach level 10 in the Go Battle League. The nice thing about Go Battle League nowadays is that you technically don't really have to win everything to rank up. So just play as casually as you want, get your battles in every day and you're gonna get to level 10 easily. And those are tips for every single level in Pokemon on Go. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and check out the other two videos on screen, which are equally as amazing. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.